guys who gave up on dating, what happened? I'm probably the furthest on the introvert scale possible, F-A-I-C, and always am happiest alone. I love my family and friends, but even having my closest sister stay at my place for a few days puts me into recharge mode for equal amount of days. My last ex was extremely taxing. She was bipolar and I was her daily reminder to take her meds. Went on a family vacation and she didn't take them for a week. Came home to a full-blown manic episode and was just done with relationships for a while. It's been like five, six years now. My ex was also definitely bipolar. She had some of the most intense swings I've ever experienced. Coming from someone who dealt with a bipolar mother for a good amount of his childhood, where it was completely normal to just have entire nights for several concurrent days be completely ruined by her arguments and fight matches. Mornings where I woke up and I regretted waking up because of how exhausting the state of affairs are. Whenever they ended, I wanted to break up with her so bad, and when I did, I honestly could see myself being asexual for life because of how terrible those fights were. In one of our breakups, I literally felt physically repulsed being in a relationship. It was so odd. It took me a while to realize I was in a completely off-the-rails, toxic, and probably quite emotionally abusive relationship. Man, sometimes I still can't believe myself how I let it go that long. It there's giving up on dating and there's just not making an active effort anymore. I'm not against dating someone and don't try to avoid that sort of thing. I just don't care to bother with actively pursuing a relationship by going out, using apps, or otherwise trying to seek out meeting people to try and find a relationship. If it happens, it happens. I'm not interested in the rat race involved in bothering and don't think the returns are worth the effort. Two years on various apps with little to no matches, the ones who did match were basically silent. Would go to date night stuff at pubs or whatnot and felt that it was just a bunch of desperate people not wanting to be alone. When I would go out to pubs with friends, I felt that if I approached others, it would be creepy or weird, like when I would strike up a conversation while waiting for drinks at the bar, they never seemed interested. My last date I had, which was about 1.5 years ago, the chick seemed super nice, very interested in myself, and we shared some common hobbies. And after the second date where she wanted to go see a Marvel movie at the end of the movie, she said, sorry, I have to go, and quickly walked away from me, then unmatched and blocked my number, and I still don't know why she did that, but I just went, fuck it. Fuck it all and focus on me. And now I can't be bothered with looking or putting myself out there. I enjoy being by myself and doing whatever the fuck I want to do whenever I feel like doing it with no holdbacks. I'm too fucking ugly for dating apps, and that seems like how 99% of people meet nowadays, so I'm shit out of luck. Honestly, all of my relationships have come through meeting girls in person. Never had a serious relationship through any dating apps. Basically, just make sure you shoot your shot in person. Just make sure to approach them and talk to them a bit, and then ask for a way to connect for a date. Don't go cold asking out girls randomly. If you're not the most attractive guy, like me, Best you can do is make sure you talk to the person you are interested in and make sure you like that person and had a nice chat and vibe, then ask for an Insta and let her know you might send her a message to link up for a date. Sure, you might not get an Insta on the first try, but just don't keep count and keep trying. I got old and tired. My last relationship ended when I was in my mid-30s. After that, I wasn't particularly interested in finding a new partner. The people in my life were mostly already in a relationship and I didn't meet as many new people. Most of them around my age were likewise partnered or otherwise unavailable. I did try dating apps for a minute, but only for a minute. I think that's a horrible way to meet people and I won't do it. And now I meet even fewer people and I think I have plenty of work to do on myself before I can be a good partner. I don't see a relationship growing naturally between myself and another the way they had in the past. Six years of dating misadventures, no shows, catfishes, People fresh out of relationships claiming they're ready for a serious relationship when they are not. Plus, the usual app crap. Long periods of no matches. Matches that don't reply or reply as one or two word sentences. Boring conversations. Endless swiping, etc. In that time, dating became less and less fun and more like a chore I do while rolling my eyes. In the same time period, I've worked a lot on myself in many different ways and developed hobbies I enjoy doing regularly. I've always been independent, but the years alone have made sharing my living space with someone else almost an alien thought, and honestly, I'm quite happy being single. At this point, I'm living my life, fostering my relationships with friends and family, working on aspects of myself that need improvement, and keeping myself busy with hobbies and goal planning. While I'm not close to the prospect of meeting someone and daring them, 
it's also rapidly being downshifted in my priority list. I'm not interested in challenges or mind games to see how I would react to situations. Oh, we've been on a few dates and everything is going well, but you're going to hang out with your ex in some attempt to see if I'll fight for you? Because it sounds like you're not over him. You are trying to use me to make him jealous or seeing if I'll chase after you. All three are what I consider red flag scenarios. Went through a period like this until recently, but basically a string of cheaters and selfish women. <laughs> Had a girlfriend who cheated, I forgave her, she then became my fiancé, and then she cheated again. A year later, I dated another woman, she also cheated. Three months later, started dating another, she also cheated. A year later, I then started dating another woman. She made about twice as much money as me, yet still expected me to pay for everything. Eventually, we agreed I'd go back to college and shed support me during it. After three months, she decided she didn't like paying for everything and said I had to drop out and get a job. I dumped her, took out a loan, and continued with school again. Didn't date for about five years after this. When I was 16, I was selected to go to Boy State, where two guys from certain high schools went to a college for a week of leadership activities. On day one, we had a group seminar along with the girls from Girls State to learn what we were doing there. My roommate, who I talked to a lot within the first few hours, wrote my phone number on a piece of paper and chucked it at the girls, and one of them texted me. I texted with this anonymous girl throughout the week, and she was very sweet and flirtatious with me. The boys were kept separate from the girls after that seminar, but all of us met up on the final night for a dance. I made plans to meet this girl before the dance, and I was excited. When I saw her, she looked very pretty, but when she saw me, she simply said, oh, and turned around and walked away. My self-confidence was crushed, and I went back to the room and went to bed. May or may not have cried a little, I blocked out this memory some, while literally everyone else was at the dance. In college, I was laughed at when looking at women. In bars, women would grind on me for five seconds and run off to their friends to make fun of me. At age 23, I gave up. Now I'm 28 with no debt, 250k net worth, in shape, very little stress. I'll never try to date again because all I've ever experienced is pain when dealing with women. It's just not worth it. I was in a relationship for most of my 20 ACS broke up five years ago. During that five years, I've been on two first dates. Neither of them eventuated to a second date. When it takes years and years to meet a woman who seems interested, it's incredibly nerve-wracking because the consequences for messing up are so severe. If I could get a date every, say, couple of months, it wouldn't be so bad. But as it is, I feel like one wrong move, one misstep, and I'll have ruined my one chance that only comes along once in a blue moon. I'm 40, been a full-time single dad since my son was three. He's 15 now. I got burned by a couple relationships, including the marriage I was in. I can't get hurt again. I had something else to focus on. Now I'm old, getting pudgy. My game is gone. I just don't see it happening for me, unfortunately. Fell in love with a woman, was with her for seven years. She decided, instead of talking to me, tried to get her to open up many times, she would just play that you should already know, and since you're not doing what I expect, I'll just cheat for months, then leave you game. Then she spent two years stringing me along and emotionally abusing me. So, not being ready or even willing to engage in another committed relationship, I decided to get in shape and be a fuckboy for a year or so. But a year turned into two, turned into four, turned into eight. And after spending time with hundreds of women, not to mention massive substance abuse and addiction, I realized I was not capable of emotionally connecting with other human beings. So, other than work, I checked out of society, smoked dope, and played video games. I dated a girl with BPD. One was enough. It was the most energy-sucking, stress-inducing five years of my life, and the negative effects on my career, friendships, and life trajectory are still present two years later. I felt like a mere shell of myself afterwards. I'm not ready to enter that battlefield again. Divorced for 15 months due to years of cheating. I was with three different women since then, all of which I found out were married or in serious relationships after a few weeks of them coming by for dinner and sex. The woman I was with before my wife was also cheating on a boyfriend with me. So in the last five women I have slept with, all of them were cheating and did not understand why that wasn't okay. If anything, moving forward, I will keep things super casual. But for now, I've put on some weight and work nights three nights per week and have my three-year-old the other four. So guess it's just not really in the cards for me right now. I gave up on dating when I turned 40. It was clear that it wasn't going to happen for me and I was okay with it. I rearranged my finances and my life and made plans for spending the rest of my life alone. 
started to think about my estate planning and what that would look like with no spouse or children. Two and a half years later, I met my current girlfriend. Things are amazing between us, and I think I may propose to her within the next four, six mows. That's what happened with me. I'm 33. I missed the boat. Plus, I never want kids or anyone else's kids, and that basically eliminates the entire dating pool. How is being 33 missing the boat? It is clear that, with some rare exceptions, the vast majority of women don't want, or even like, the vast majority of men. According to data from dating apps, 95% of women find 80% of men unattractive by every blind survey, and by actual data usage, swiping, liking, and responding to versus ignoring messages, on dating social apps such as Tinder, OkCupid, Bumble, etc. So, for men that aren't high value, that is to say, model good-looking, rich, and or famous, the best we can do is enjoy our own lives. Dive into your career. Be passionate about your hobbies. Invest in your own friend groups of men. Volunteer your time. Focus on self-care. Don't waste your time and energy on pursuing women. Certainly don't waste your money or risk your career, social standing, or reputation. Remember, if you have to approach them, that is already your answer. The message in our current culture is clear. If a woman is interested in you, she will approach you. Hey guys, Vivian here. I really like the message of the last post, but I think it's important to add that you shouldn't be bitter about not being in a relationship or getting rejected. Getting rejected sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Focus on improving yourself and you'll find the right person. Don't give up. Shoot or shoot, just don't be a creep. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to hit the like button and click the notification bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of our next upload. Thanks for watching.